Good afternoon, my name is Jeff. I'm a sewer tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 5460 Northwest Tamaron Place here in Portland, Oregon. We're located at the front of the home. Just off to my left here is the uh, pool and everything. It's at the uh, very front uh, left corner here of the house. This will be my point of access, 3-inch ABS cleanout. I'm going to insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. Currently have water running inside, and I'm going to zero out the camera right here and refer to this as the point of access. Here we go. Well, there's something just ahead of the camera here. You can see the standing water. Um, I've got to get the line drained out so I can see what's going on, but this is uh, bringing my camera to a dead stop here. So we'll let it drain out and see what we've got going on here. Uh, for some reason, my camera decided to pop over at that time. Looks like it's just transitioned to PVC. I'll get the uh, diameter of that on the way back out when it's drained. Okay, and here at 71 feet from the point of access, we have reached the main lateral. I'm going to go ahead and get the water turned off, let the line drain out. Okay, the line is uh, almost completely drained out. There's just a little water trickling off there. I'm going to go ahead and start reeling back. Okay, we're back here at the uh, spot where I, I had difficulty getting the camera uh, to advance past. It's right here at the transition from ABS to PVC, and you can see there's a large amount of uh, standing water here uh, because of the. Uh, what's happened is it looks like the joint has has slipped, and the joints become offset there by actually quite a bit. It's uh, offset by probably about an inch and a half or two. It's causing standing water. You can see there's a, a lot of debris building up here, uh, which tells me that um, it's having some difficulty draining out. <clears throat> and because it, and what happens is the uh, line's filling up uh, way more than it should, and it's actually getting debris stuck all the way up to the, the very top of the pipe. So it's filling up completely. So it uh, looks like it's had some uh, pro probably blockages uh, in the past Generally, that's the only way you can get debris to stick to the top of the pipe, because uh, lines should very, they generally should not ever fill up. There's only to be about a quarter inch of water flowing across the bottom, unless you have a tub draining or something like that. So I'm going to recommend a spot repair you know, to correct that joint, uh, to eliminate any possibility <clears throat> of blockages happening due to this, as well as uh, the joint uh, slipped enough, and it's hard to tell because of all the debris in the water. 
Uh, it could allow water to uh, also leak out into the ground when you've got a joint like that. I'm going to park the camera right here up against against the edge. Offset. And I will locate and mark this spot. I'll mark it with a green X. And I'll mention the uh, depth and location of that here in just a moment. Okay, I did uh, successfully locate the uh, offset joint here. It's uh, also causing about two inches of standing water for about three feet of pipe. I'm going to go ahead and uh, reel back here a little bit. It's uh, marked with a green X at the very front of the property, uh, in between two boulders at the front, and it's at four feet deep. I do recommend a spot repair to correct the joint.